So as we debug the weight loss, we look for energy levels, we look for sleep problems, we look for digestion, and then we're at cravings. Now, cravings are a good indication that there's something wrong in the body, that something missing. And it, if you're craving sweets, you're not burning fat, you're burning sugar. So this is a very good indicator that we need to fix it, okay? Because when you're actually burning fat, you're not craving anything. So it just kind of, it just tells us that their diet isn't right yet. So if they're craving sweet, it's usually a potassium deficiency. We need to have seven to 10 cups of vegetable per day to get rid of potassium de uh, deficiencies. But if they already are eating potassium enough, it could be just a complete adrenal burnout uh, mainly the inside of the adrenal, and they need L-tryptophan to increase the serotonin, which is the pleasure hormone. Yeah, okay? So, um, they're just trying to go, trying to reduce stress. And then we have starches. That would be like potato and pasta and mac and cheese and all those wonderful pleasure uh, foods that people are addicted to. That's a B vitamin deficiency. So give them nutritional yeast uh, make sure the potassium is in there as well, but they might need uh, L-tryptophan too to re increase serotonin to give them that comfort feeling. And we might even want to increase dopamine too by that product um, that we talked about before. But start with this right here. Now, salt. If they crave salt, then we know the adrenal is losing salt. And salt buffers the pH and it transports carbon dioxide, so it actually helps breathing. So we're not opposed to having a consume sea salt as long as they're doing enough potassium. So they need that salt because it's, losing, uh, it's going down. So sometimes if they're deficient in salt, they're going to be tired as well. Salt's electrolyte. And salt could even be one reason why they could be cramping. That's a rare case, but it can cause a problem with that. So make sure they're, if they're working out a lot and they're sweating, well, they need more salt as well. Now, fat. If they crave fatty foods, Deep fried foods, deep fried catfish with tartar sauce, fried chicken. I have a history of craving fat. Not that I ever give in to my cravings, but um, that means that the person has a liver, gallbladder, bile thing. They're not absorbing the fat soluble vitamins, thereby they're craving more fat. They're never satisfied. So again, give them the bile and that will handle it through the gallbladder formula. Now what about chocolate? What if they crave chocolate? That would be an L-tryptophan uh, thing. You can give them that, um, and that, that will increase serotonin. This means the adrenal is, needs more serotonin because it's burnt out. But you know what? Magnesium actually is used to build L-tryptophan. So you could also give them magnesium, too, for chocolate cravings. Okay? But again, if you fix the adrenal, you just handled this one, this one, this one, and this one. Yeah. Okay, sour. If they crave sour or lemon, they have a choline deficiency. And choline is needed to make this neurotransmitter called acetylcholine. And acetylcholine is essential for sleep and awake cycles and also to support something called the parasympathetic nervous system. And that's the, the system that helps you sleep. So the best remedy would be to give them a lot of lemons um, and a lot of, uh, you can even give them choline, which is actually a, a lemon tasting vitamin. They'll suck on it, choline, and they'll love it. Um, the other thing that you can give them is um, nutritional yeast to increase the acetylcholine, and that will help the B vitamin, um, to give them the B vitamins to make more acetylcholine. But typically they'll crave sour to help um, consume choline to actually strip off fat off the liver. So people that have a fatty liver will a lot of times crave sour because they're trying to naturally eat foods to dissolve the fat on the liver. Now if they crave ice, that's an iron deficiency, so make sure they're not anemic or pregnant or whatever or have a digestive problem, but usually if they're pregnant they'll crave ice. That's an iron deficiency or they'll crave dirt. So just give, go outside in the backyard and give them a teaspoon of dirt. Okay, caffeine uh, that is, uh, you give them, uh, recommend a phenyl uh, parazetam. That's a, a supplement they can get if, you, if they want to come off caffeine. Uh, I just rec recommend and reduce it. I don't always recommend this, but you, if you need it, you can give it to them. But when you take 
caffeine from chocolate or from tea or coffee. It depletes calcium and B1, just FYI. So just look for those deficiencies. They might show signs of those deficiencies. Alcohol as a substitute, I like to give them kombucha tea um, because that actually helps, gives the same texture as beer. Um, and you can also give them that dopa, uh, it's called uh, mucuna, which is that, in, uh, that African be uh, bean to actually help them come off alcohol and drugs. It's a very good thing because it stimulates dopamine, which is the pleasure and reward system of the brain. Now, if they're hungry all the time, they need more bile, they need more fat soluble vitamins because they're not digesting fats. MSG, monosodium glutamate, will just increase potassium, the opposing mineral, to help balance that out. And then you're just going to have to educate them on what this is, what food that it's in, and that this will increase insulin by 300%. So the, the food manufacturing companies purposely put that in the food to make you addictive, and they're tricking you, and it makes the food taste better than it really is so they can get away, away with selling crap and uh, make it taste good. It's like crap that tastes good. Crazy. Okay, stress eater. We have a lot of stress eaters out there, so a good remedy would be uh, magnolia. That's a product. I think it's called Relo, uh, Relora. But just look for a product that says magnolia, and that's kind of like taking a chill pill, and it helps them every time they go through stress. Okay? So use this flow chart for cravings, and we'll go on to the next factor.